For thousands of years, this land stood at the crossroads of empires, the mountains of Afghanistan, where conquerors came and vanished. But what if this land never existed at all? Imagine a world map with a blank space where Afghanistan should be. No Kabul, no Khyber Pass, no ancient Silk Road running through its heart, a void in the very center of Asia. Afghanistan has been more than a country. It's been a bridge of civilizations. Greek met Persian, Mongol met Indian, empires clashed, cultures fused. Without it, the world's arteries of trade and migration would have shifted. The roots of history itself rewritten. Alexander's armies would have marched around a mountain that wasn't there. The Silk Road might have veered north through China and Russia, making Central Asia, not South Asia, the cradle of global exchange. The British and Russian empires might never have met in conflict, no great game, no Cold War flashpoints in the same way. Step 1. Trade shifts north. Cities like Samarkand and Bukhara rise higher than ever. Step 2. The Indian subcontinent remains isolated for centuries longer. Step 3. Global religion, science, and culture evolve along different lines. Islam's spread slows, the Renaissance arrives later, and the geopolitical heart of the modern world beats somewhere else entirely. Without Afghanistan, history loses its crossroads, its collision point, a world less connected, a world that never learned what struggle at the center can teach. So, if the world's most fought-over land never existed, would humanity still have found its center?